Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Love Tim Tristan and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi, how are you? Today we're going to be talking about another Sky Factory 4 tutorial and this one is on deep mob learning. Deep mob learning is going to be split into two parts and this will be the first one on how to get started on it. Um, so first of all, I wanted to point out the reason why I'm doing this, if you are trying to look for some information and you look in the book, the recipes are all wrong. So there's some good information in the book, but it's not exactly what we need. So to start off with, we're going to take some redstone and we're going to take a block of coal. You just set it down in the world and we're going to take our redstone and not do that. We're going to left click on it and it's going to give us this like it's smoldering it kind of thing. And that's going to give us this soot covered redstone and that's what we need to create a lot of these recipes. So make sure, and you probably want some on the something on the other side, unlike what I did, because you don't want them to fall off and into the world. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna make some stuff so that way we can get some loot without killing the mobs all the time. So to do that, first of all, we're gonna make some of these blank data models. Okay, so we're gonna take four lapis in the corners. We're going to take two of that suit that we just made, put those on either side, put a stone in the middle, a gold ingot on the bottom, and a redstone repeater on the top. Now we're going to make a lot of these. You want to at least start with three. So the three that we're going to want to start with is these three. So first of all, you're going to want a zombie head. Uh, there we go. Skeleton will do uh, a bone with it will make our skeleton. Gunpowder will make our creeper. All right, and I don't know what I was thinking. It is a rotten flesh. So zombie. Don't know why I was thinking zombie head, but but it's not. So, all right. So in our deep learner. All right. So what we're going to do is in our deep mob learner, we're going to put those three in here. I've already put them in. They will start out and you will have nothing on them. Zero kills. So what we're going to do is now that we have those on us, we're going to go over to our mob spawner and we're just simply going to start killing the mobs and it doesn't matter what sword you have. I got the really cool one because why not? And you're just going to start killing him. Whoops. Don't get too close. Creeper sees you. He's going to blow. There we go. And of course, we'll need to kill them a little bit in order to make these in the first place. But this is totally worth it. If you need to know how to make the mob uh, spawner... I do have a tutorial on that too. If you've been playing Skyblocks for a while, you probably don't need it, but for the ones that haven't, I do have a tutorial for that. All right, so let's kill all the ones in here just because we need to get a little bit of data going. All right, so now if we take a look at our deep learner, it'll tell us if we hold down shift. So for instance, we have collected 16 and we are on a basic tier of creepers. For zombies, we didn't kill any. Oh, we killed data per kill, four. We didn't kill any, and for skeleton, we didn't kill any. Okay, that was weird, because we did kill some. Hmm. Okay, let's switch swords. Oh yeah, and this one doubles it, so that's probably not a good one. Hold on. Okay, so since our creeper one is at a basic tier, we actually want to level that up even further. So what I'm going to do is use the creative model learner. Uh, shift right click. All right, those weren't working. So instead, we're gonna plant some zombies. Got some zombie seeds. 
All right, so let's plant some zombie seeds. Sorry, had to pop up. All right, let's plant a whole bunch of them. And I did it inside because since it's light out, we don't want them to burn. All right, so that should have given us. Now we are on self-aware. So those did work. All right, so let's kill these. Whoops, broke that. All right, uh, I don't want to forget about this one, so let's go grow it. And it'll pop up in the chat when you reach a new tier. But because I did those, we're on self-aware. So creepers defeated, five. If we switch to skeleton, skeletons defeated three, and zombies defeated seven but we're on maximum tier achieved and that's because I did the upgrades you won't get it that fast but I just wanted to demonstrate to you what we're gonna do with them now so next we need to make these suit covered plates we're gonna take that suit covered redstone again with three obsidian and I'll make us eight plates now for those plates and I should have showed you this before but the for these plates we're gonna put four in the corner three redstone repeaters, a glass plane, and a soot-covered redstone. And that'll make us a deep learner. Now here's something a lot of people don't know. You can have multiple deep learners in your inventory all at one time. And the reason why that would be important is because there's all different kinds of mobs. So we need all different kinds of these. So we're gonna use these machines, but before we use the machines, we're gonna need polymer clay. So we're going to take four clay, a lapis in the middle, gold ingot up here on the top, and an iron ingot on the bottom. Each of that recipe makes 16. Next, we need the simulation chamber, and this will be the first one we want. So this one, we have a glass plane on top, a suit-covered machine casing. Um, hold on. Okay, so for the suit-covered machine casing, you're going to need four suit-covered plates, four iron ingots, and then suit-covered redstone in the middle. So now back, back to the recipe. Uh, this recipe. So then we're going to take that suit-covered machine casing. We're going to put a glass plane on top, two ender pearls on either side, two lapis lazuli at the bottom, and a redstone comparator. Okay, so that's gonna be this machine right here. And this is where we're gonna put the polymer clay in. If you have it in your inventory, you can just shift click and it'll put it in there. Now here's where we're gonna use uh, these that we learned. So we're gonna take one out. Let's say we wanna start with creeper. So we put creeper up here. It's gonna run a simulation program, which is called the simulation chamber. So it, you'll see the here the thing here the higher the tier is the faster this is going to go and the fat the higher your pristine chance is going to be so as you see that one we actually our whole point here is to get pristine matter that actually did give us a pristine matter but it's because we're unself-aware and so our tier is very high see but the next time it failed every time it'll give you an overworldian matter but not every time will it give you the pristine matter. And of course, that's going to vary for everything you put in there. There are ones for all the different things. So then what are we going to do here? Well, then you can put your over, uh, your pristine matter in here. And let's go look at the recipe for that one. For that one, you're going to use another soot-covered machine casing, gold ingot on top, two diamonds on either side, Dandelion yellow, you can also use other yellow stuff, but it has to be yellow. And then redstone comparator, and that'll give you the loot fabricator. And the loot fabricator is where you put the pristine matter. It doesn't have to be creeper, this is just the example I'm using. So you put the pristine matter here, and you choose what you want. So it tell, it'll tell you what all you can have. So you can have inferior essence, creeper head, or gunpowder. Well, for this one, 
I don't know what I would want. It would be based off where I'm at in my gameplay. So let's say we want the Inferium Essence. You click on it and it'll automatically create that for you and it'll output it right here. Both of these machines do require power. I have the GPS hooked up to it for power. So do know that they do require power for both of them. All right, so next, what about all the other things? And the over overworlding matter can be used to create a lot of stuff. So don't be disappointed if all you get is the matter because it makes a difference what type of mob you're using, what kind of matter you get. So this one is overworlding matter, but look at all the different things you can make with it. So this is just as benefic beneficial as the pristine matter. This got me through a lot of recipes that I didn't have the stuff when I first started out. All right, now I put these all up here, but let's take them out. These are just the recipes to make all the different ones. And I wanted to put them in here so I could show you. So for instance, for the spider one, it's a spider eye and it's always a blank model, but it depends on what you're trying to make. So this, the spider eye, then if we do that, it's a slime. Uh, bet you can't guess, Enderman, a ghast, wither skeleton, nether star is the wither, a glass bottle is a witch, and blaze is for blaze. All right, now there's so many, I had to put them in different ones. So let me just grab all these out. There we go. So a shulker shell is for a shulker. A lily pad is for the twilight swamp data. Now the twilight has different areas. So this is the swamp area. Then we have the blue slime. We have the dragon's breath for the ender dragon. Pristine shard. Oh. Why? Oh, because it left us. Okay. Uh, guardian. <laughs> A prismarine shard for the guardians. I was like, what? Here's the first twilight one you'll do as a firefly. And that'll give you the twilight forest model. So that'll be the first one you want for twilight. And then arctic fur, and that's the glacier data model. That'll probably be the second one you want. And then the third one is when you'll get the dark wood here. Twilight dark wood data model. And if you shift up, click on them, or if you look at them, um, We can put them in different ones. This is why I said you can hold four at a time, but this is why I said you want different data models because you want to be able to say for, I switch mine out. For instance, if I'm going to the twilight, I make sure I have all the twilight ones. Plus I make sure I have the traditional mobs and the slimes. So it all depends on where you're going, what you want to put in here. And then for the last ones, these are weird because, okay, for the Android one, it takes any four of the Android parts. For the, uh, oh, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, Thermal Elemental. It takes either the Perothium, Cryrothium, Aerothium, or py py Pyrothium, or Petrothium. Sorry, I said that one wrong. So any of those will make the Thermal and any of the Android parts will make the Rogue Android data model. So the Rogue data Android model is one of the first ones you're going to want also because they do spawn in your mob spawner on your regular overworld. All right, so I know that was a lot of information. Um, if I left anything out, we'll get into the other part of it next time. But if I left anything out for this part, then definitely let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you give hit that subscribe button. Really helps me out. All right. Until next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye.